hello guys and welcome to the first series on calculus in case you're new to this channel this is actually engineers mindset academy okay so um, we're going to be going through the very first topic in um, calculus which is actually limits and functions of single variable now as we all know um, there are basically four methods of evaluating limits we have the direct substitution method we have the factorization method we have the conjugate method and finally we have the l hopitas rule so we'll start by um, substitution method in this video and then in the subsequent videos we'll do the other four methods and then go on to talk about limits at infinity and continuous function for instance let's say we are given to evaluate okay limit as x approaches to of the function f of x equal to 3x squared plus 2 now we obviously always solve our limit problem first by directly substituting the given function or the given limit into the function that's the first thing we we'll always do depending on any approach any method you're using the first thing to do is always you test the limit first by direct substitution it is when substitution has failed that you can now try to now use the alternate methods to solve now when is a limit said to fail a limit is said to fail when you have an indeterminate expression an indeterminate expression is simply an expression that gives you zero divided by zero this is called indeterminate okay so when you're given a limit problem and you evaluate the problem and you have zero divided by zero that is simply an indeterminate expression so you always test your limit first by substitution and by substitution simply put in the value of the limit into the function and see if you can obtain a value now let's look at the question on the board we have limit as x approaches to of the function 3x squared plus 2 all i need to do is simply what set the value of x to be equal to the point of the limit which is simply 2 therefore this becomes now limit as x approaches to wherever i see x i will simply put in the value as what 2 so this becomes f in place of x i becomes f of 2 and that's equal to 3 into in place of x here i put down my words 2 but not forgetting that x here is what squared so because of that i simply attach all squared here plus 2 this becomes now 3 into remember 2 squared gives me what 4 okay so you put down your plus 2 all right so this is now equal to this becomes 3 times 4 which is 12 plus 2 so which means the limit of that function is simply what 14 and you have this value okay let's also say we are given to evaluate limit as x approaches minus 3 of x squared plus 2x all over x minus 3 let's say we are given to evaluate this limit so always test first by substitution and by substitution simply putting the value of x to be equal to the point where the limit is approaching I have limit as x approaches what minus 3 so i will simply set x to be equal to what minus 3 and wherever i see x in this given expression i will put in the value as what minus 3 this is now equal to i have x squared here but x is minus 3 since i have x squared here you simply what square this okay plus 2 into next up i have x attached to this 2 but x is minus 3 so it becomes 2 into minus 3 all over next up i have x here and x is minus 3 so this becomes minus 3 then you put down your minus 3 okay <clears throat> so notice here now that minus 3 squared automatically gives me um, 9 and then 2 times minus 3 gives me minus 6 all over i have the minus 3 minus 3 that also gives me minus 6 now 9 minus 6 automatically gives me what 3 all over minus 6 so this can be likened to be what 3 can go into minus 6 and that will give me minus 1 all over 2 so that becomes the answer to that limit so like i said you only try a different method when it has failed by substitution so which means 
you keep on trying by what substitution till the limit fails before you can try the next method let's say we are given to evaluate limit as x approaches 4 of 3x minus 2 all over x plus 1 same thing set x to be equal to what set x to be equal to 4 which is the point of the limit so wherever you see x simply put in the value as 4 i have 3 times x here becomes 3 in place of x we put in 4 minus 2 all over i have x plus 1 here and x is 4 it becomes 4 plus 1 this is now equal to 3 times 4 obviously is 12 minus 2 all over 4 plus 1 gives us 5 and 12 minus 2 is 10 <clears throat> so this is equal to 10 all over um, 5 and the answer is simply what 2 so the answer to that limit is simply 2 now let's now consider this particular question let's say we are given to evaluate limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2 so if we set x to be equal to the point of the limit which is 2 setting x to be equal to 2 this now becomes in place of x here i have 2 but x is squared so it becomes 2 all squared minus 4 all over in place of x here i have 2 minus 2 and 2 squared is actually what 4 minus 4 all over 2 minus 2 and this is now equal to 4 minus 4 is 0 all over 2 minus 2 is also 0 which is now what indeterminate indeterminate okay so this simply means that this limit has failed by direct substitution method and when this happens then you have to now check the alternate methods and the first alternate method is simply by what factorization so you see if you if you can factorize you know um any expression that has the highest power in the given um, function and of course i have x squared minus 4 this is actually a quadratic factor which means i can factorize it then you can now employ the factorization method and you obviously obtain a value so we don't want to see 0 divided by 0 in limits it's okay to have 0 it's okay to have 0 all over 1 it's okay to have 1 all over 0 or you understand just just like that but it's we don't want to see 0 divided by 0 if we see that automatically that's indeterminate which means we have to employ the next method of limits either the factorization or the conjugate or the um air rule all right guys so that's it on substitution method in the next video straight up i'll be doing factorization method and of course everything about it i'll see you in that video thanks